Hey guys, it's your girl HB. I'm back. I know MIA. We're not going to go into that because that'll be a long rant, right? So basically, let's just get to the point of this video, which is my hiatus and what I've been doing. So basically, I've been well, doing a whole bunch of other stuff in personal life. But besides that, I just started couponing. So yeah, everybody's been going on this whole rampage about couponing and stuff, and I joined. Generally, I'm not a bandwagon person, and it just seemed like a smart thing to do. Some things are just like trendy things that you just jump onto, like, you know, okay, that style, that um, that hairstyle, or something else like that. But this just seemed illogical, or whatever. Um, why not save money? If you save money, you can spend money on the things that you really, really want. So... I figured this would be a good idea, and since I was on a budget, this was, you know, going to be cool. And I like organizing stuff. I'm a really good organizer. So I feel like this would be great for me. Good hobby. So forget all that good stuff. Let's get to the point. So um, I'm a newbie. I'm a rookie. I'm not a pro. There's a lot of things I have to learn. I haven't gotten to the point where I can just get, like, meats and like full complete meals and stuff like that just like a hundred things and only pay like three dollars and stuff for the stuff but i think i'm doing very good to say that i am new so hopefully this video is not going to be extremely long and i might have to break it down into several videos i was going to organize it and kind of like give you guys like okay this part is that that part is that but I'm just going to freestyle it, and if I feel like it's getting too long, I'm going to just stop and then continue on in a part two, okay? So let's figure out how this is going to go. Okay, basically, what did I do to first start out as couponer? I cut coupons. And I know that sounds like, well, clearly you have to do that, but seriously, cut coupons. Um, I get questions now because I do upload some of my hauls onto my Facebook page. I don't use Facebook like that. I just upload them just so I can have an album and stuff, so... If you want to get any information, like, I'm going to start putting it on my blog. Since I'm paying for it, I feel like I should use my website. So I'm going to try to upload those stuff to my blog so you guys can actually see it and you don't have to go on Facebook. Um, so what I was doing was clipping coupons. When I thought about the whole couponing thing, I knew I had to start building up. I realized that much. It wasn't anything, any one person that I watched to learn anything like that. I basically knew I needed coupons. I couldn't just decide, okay... Today, Sunday, the paper comes out today, I'm going to be a couponer today. You kind of have to build up because a lot of the sales that are in the papers that first Sunday that you want to start, um, the deals are going to be on stuff that the coupons were from prior weeks. Not always, but generally to do like the best deals. So what I did was I just started from the day I wanted to do it, getting that paper, cutting the coupons and building up, building up, building up. And then every week I would just get the paper, and then also pull the circulars. So what you want to do is, when you're starting out, is get the get the circulars, pull them out, see what the sales are like, Walgreens, CVS. Generally, my, my lineup is Walgreens, CVS. Um, I started pulling Target, even though I really don't go to Target because the Target is a little bit on the outskirts, and I don't feel like driving that far. But Target is another one I pull. And Kroger, Kroger is a good one. If you have a Kroger in your area, Publix is, Publix is a great one because they do double coupons, and I'll explain that. And also Rite Aid. Even though I've never done Rite Aid, I just it frustrates me sometimes because a lot of their stuff in their flyers, they don't have the price. They'll just say, like, it was buy one, get one 50% off or something like that. And I feel like I want to know the price of the first one this way I can kind of put my coupons together. So sometimes you got to physically go in the store to deal with Rite Aid. It doesn't work all the time. Like, sometimes the price is in there. I just don't feel like dealing with Rite Aid. Okay. So <laughs> that's basically how I work it out. Now, the coupons will be in mainly three different little circular things and that's smart sauce red plum and the png now let's see if i have one around again i'm not organized on this but i just want to show you guys what i mean and i think i cut it up yeah i cut it up already you can look it up or whatever but they, it's just like a stack it'll look just like this circular right here except it'll, it'll just be nothing but coupons from different companies and such and it'll say smart sauce on the front and then the next one to say PNG, and then the next one to say Red Plum. Sometimes you can even get them 
they come in the papers on Tuesday sometimes, depending on what area you're in. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, so um, I generally get mine in the Sunday paper, but my boyfriend sometimes gets them on, like, Tuesdays just into his house. I don't know why. I think it's a little unfair that I don't get it, but <laughs> I get his, too, so that works out. Um, so from there, you want to clip all the coupons. People ask me, which coupons do I clip? Anything that you think you would actually purchase, clip the coupon. With me, I'm learning to clip everything. Why? Because generally that one thing that you don't clip ends up being that one thing that will be on sale and could potentially be a money maker. What's a money maker? A money maker is a product that you can purchase that with a coupon, there might be some extra money left over after using the coupon. So let's say something is $2.50 and your coupon says $3.00. Okay, depending on what store it is. Not every store does this, but for example, Walmart does do overage. So you'll have 50 cents of overage, which is extra money that is like able to spend on whatever else you are purchasing. So if you had something else in your your um your purchase, piece of candy or whatever, it would cover it. So you don't have to pay out of pocket, which is money, cash money, instead of just using the coupons. Hopefully that made sense. And if you have any questions, you can always put them down here and I definitely will answer them. Okay. Um, I'm trying to go build on as I'm going. So from there, you're clipping coupons. You got your sales flyers. You're matching up deals. That's why I told you guys to pull the circulars because you're going to be matching up deals. You see a coupon for something inside a circular. You want to match it up with a coupon and see if you can get the deal. Also, you have store coupons. This is a good example. I just have this laying around. This is a manufacturer's coupon. Manufacturer's coupons can be used anywhere. They're sent by the company that actually makes the product. So they're giving you a discount by giving you this coupon. So you're going to use this coupon. A lot of the stores have this kind of coupon, which is, as you can see, the little logo down here, Target. So Target also has $3 off. So at Target, you can stack. So you're going to get $3 from the manufacturer. Then you're going to get $3 from Target. And depending on whatever else the price is, let's say if it's $7 for this product, you're going to pay a dollar out of pocket. That's what out of pocket means. That's the actual cash that's coming out of pocket. And of course, with all these transactions, you are responsible for the tax. And I think that was a big misconception when I started couponing. Everybody on the coupon channels and stuff used to always be like, it was totally free for me. And I'm thinking like, wow, you know, you got this stuff for free. But um, I want to make a point to tell my new coupon buddies or whatever it is not completely free because you do have to pay tax now technically you know free or whatever but you you are required to pay taxes for a lot of stuff so just keep that in mind so you're not the register like i don't have any money on me because such and such said it was going to be free no you definitely have to pay taxes okay all right so we got that um while it's in front of me dealing with coupons Publix, if you have a Publix in your area, for example, and it doesn't matter, whatever store that you have that might have circulars for coupons, store coupons, you can stack a store coupon with a manufacturer's coupon, generally, okay? To make sure that you are following all the rules and such, you might want to go around to the stores that you plan on shopping at and printing out their coupon policy. A coupon policy breaks down all the logistics of the store and how they work with coupons. They'll tell you Okay, you can use such amount of coupons on this item. Um, you can't use this kind of coupon. We only accept that. You know, just get be educated on the stores that you use because you don't want to mess up a transaction because you were misinformed. And you get so excited, you have all the stuff in your car, you get to the register, and it's like, nope, can't use it. Okay, so just be informed. But... While dealing with Publix, Publix does do double coupons. So, for example, if you had a 50 cents off coupon, you can use it there. And as long as it, do it doesn't say do not double at the top of the manufacturer's coupon, they will double it up to a dollar. So, you'll be getting a dollar on that coupon instead of 50 cents. There's some other stores, like I think Albertsons doubles coupons. And it's another store. It depends on your area. Again, you want to educate yourself, read coupon policies, know your store's rules okay um public coupons come in these flyers like the ones i show you it'll look like this you cut these out you want to cut them out okay some stores you just scan like walgreens their store coupons they just scan it you can use the same coupon over and over with Publix, you cut it out and it looks like that you can only use one manufacturer's coupon per item for example like i just showed you guys with the 
this Lysol coupon that says three dollars off. You can't say, oh, well, I have two Lysol coupons, so I'm going to use them together and get six dollars off. No, one manufacturer's coupon per item, but you can use one store coupon and one manufacturer's coupon together and get the savings. So that's a good look. Okay, so we did that, 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 that. Okay. Next up, I'm going to basically show you guys, and this is not organized yet because I'm still trying to figure out what works for me. A lot of you guys see the binders and how people organize their coupons. Everybody does their stuff differently. The best way to do it, that will be like the ultimate way, is whatever works for you. You can watch all the videos you want, and just because this person is doing it their way doesn't make it the best way. The best way is what helps you move faster in the store. So I'm basically just going to run through how I do my couponing, and then, you know, you can figure out what works for you. A lot of people have binders. Some people do the cases, like the clear plastic cases. I thought I had one behind me or whatever. I'll explain the background in a second. But, um, yeah, it's all up to you how you want to do it. I have this, and I haven't seen anybody with this. I'm going to explain what this is. Um, I used to be a personal assistant, so I bought one of these. And these are one of the books you can get from Walmart. And it has, like, the calendar in it. And it's just a regular organizer. Well, the calendar that was in it expired because it's a brand new year. So I took that out. And then I put... This sucker is heavy, by the way. <laughs> and then this inside right here. This is just a regular three-ring binder. It's the plastic ones that you can get from Dollar Tree or whatever. I do suggest going to Dollar Tree to get, like, the stuff you want to use for your binder. Check there first before going to, like, Staples and Office Depot because they have a lot of stuff at Dollar Tree that's just going to be a dollar. And it's a whole lot cheaper than paying full price. Okay. So, I got this. And I put the binder inside and just tucked it into this pocket. So, now I have a full pocket inside where I can hold stuff. This area is generally where, again, I have... I haven't all reorganized it yet. This side is where I keep my coupon policies. Um, if it's like a big coupon, like a book like this, like this is a Target book with coupons in it, this is where I keep that stuff at. Um, I have some other stuff that I need to move out of there. And this little pocket in the front, because it comes with two, these are printable coupons. You can print coupons online. Sites like coupons.com has coupons on there, so if you didn't get it like in the circular or it's additional coupons. You can search by zip code which coupons are like in your area, but you also can use other zip codes to get the coupons so you don't have to be restricted to your area and just find deals. So I have a good bit of printed coupons that I keep in here. It's easier for me to grab because they are longer and won't fit in here. Okay. Um, here you can keep your ECBs, register rewards, up rewards, and I'm going to break that down for you right now. Register rewards, up rewards, and ECBs, which is extra care bucks, are different ways that you can spend money in the store. It's basically store money. And I don't want to really deviate from that because I wanted to do the binder, but since I've already started that subject, I'm going to go ahead. Inside the circulars, you'll see things that say purchase something for $5.99 and get $3 back in some type of store bucks. Okay, those kind of deals are the deals you want to kind of search for and purchase things because you're able to basically roll your money on. If I pay $5.99 for something and I get $3 back, then technically I'm not paying three ninety. I'm not paying $5.99 for it. I have three extra bucks that I can use towards another purchase, so I'm stretching that money even more. And then if you have coupons for that product, it can end up being free, and that's how a lot of the purchases are made free. And I can probably get more in-depth in that, so if you have any other questions on that, go down there and we'll talk some more about it. Okay, so this is where I house my coupons. These are baseball card sleeves. You generally put the Pokemon cards on it, you know, your baseball cards and stuff. I put my coupons in here. They are not organized as of yet. I just wanted to get some of these coupons in the sheets so I could just have some of them in here so I can go through. So they're not organized yet, but they will eventually be to the point where you know I have all the cleaning products all the laundry stuff in certain sections or whatever but again I don't necessarily feel the need to do that as long as I can find what I need then I'm okay with that it doesn't really have to be that organized for me but that's what these are and you can find these at Walmart and Staples and Office Depot these are the just the plain clear 
she protectors these are actually the thicker ones i'm going to use these for probably my store coupons and probably put them in here and also um i might even use these for the circulars some of them won't fit because they're longer but that's what i plan to do now my organization i just started this i have to go pick up the rest of my clear sheets like this these are the thinner ones i'm going to start housing the entire sheets now these are the coupon sheets that i was talking about that come in the smart search source red plum and png instead of clipping all the coupons some of the coupons you can clip and i'm going to show you guys this table <laughs> my desk is full of coupons right now um but you don't have to cut all the coupons because that can be tedious i started out cutting everything because i wanted to put them all in sleeves i didn't want to have to even deal with this but um what i think i'm going to just start doing is maybe cut two of them because i do get more than one paper or insert so i'll cut two of the same like coupons and stick them inside the little sleeve so it's a double coupon behind here it'll be another one there or whatever the ones that i don't cut i leave in sheets like this so i can just refer to them if i'm in the store and i do keep scissors inside of my my little sleeve so I can grab the scissors and cut them while I'm in the store. So this basically just shows you how I organize it. And I do have my paper clips because I grab for them and then sometimes I take them off the coupons because sometimes they hold like that so I'll take them off and just slide it right there. Um, in here I hold house all different types of things and then I have a little notepad in case I have to do a scenario in the store. And I'll break down the scenario or scenario well, I'm right here. A scenario is basically how you expect to spin or shop that day. And for example, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean about the extra care bucks. This right here is for these two cereals. It says if you do two boxes, it'll be for $5. So two for $5. And right under it, you can read it says register rewards on two. So it's saying it's like paying two for $3. So I have a coupon for a dollar off a two. So that would knock this two for five down to two for four. Okay, so I'm going to pay four dollars out of my pocket for this. But I'm going to get two dollars back. So essentially, it's like I only paid a dollar per box for the cereal, which is a great deal. Okay, so that's how you got to break it down. When they say it's like paying a lot of people get confused. They automatically see, okay, well, I'm getting $2. They're thinking, I'm going to get this $2 as I'm bringing up. You don't get it to afterwards. It'll be a printout, a little sheet of paper. It'll look like part of your receipt, except it'll be at the bottom, and it'll say dollar register reward. It'll say a dollar up, bug, depending on what store you go to. Walgreens does register rewards. Right A does up rewards. And extra care bucks are at CVS. So just be mindful that when you see products like that, try to put together a little scenario where you can minimize the best of the funds, okay, if that makes sense to you. Um, also, I have the accordion file. This is how mine looks. I bought this from Dollar Tree a long time ago, and it's, I think it's for recipes or whatever, but I use it for my coupons. This is what I started out with. I didn't have a binder at first, and I just did it with cold items, dry items, laundry and healthcare. Then I did like the hair products and beauty products and then like restaurant stuff. That's how mine was separated because it wasn't that many sections. And I still use this. I still refer to this because I do have like a boatload of coupons. Like this whole desk is filled with coupons right now that I do want to add to this. Whatever is the overflow of my binder will go inside of here. And I do keep this in a slot inside my binder. Okay, um, I know this video is getting extremely long. I know you guys are probably overwhelmed. So I think I'm going to stop right here and then I'm going to continue with part two. So if you have any questions or anything I said in this video so far, leave the comments below. I'll answer them, discuss it, and then you can go on to the next one. Okay, bye guys.